of a thousand or two thousand dollars so i know how to construct a webinar that sells i've used videos to make sales i've used facebook lives to make sales so i've used content that converts across all parts of my business and i'm so passionate about it because it's such a game changer because when you really know how to create content that converts this is a way that you can rapidly reach a much bigger audience and basically you know start to share more value with the people who really want and need what you have to offer and it's a way to do it without it always having to be sucking up hours of your time so there's a way to leverage and scale this very fast but it all starts with having those core pieces of content that convert and so we're going to start there today before we go any further i just want to put inside of your brain a key money making formula i want to make sure that you understand why money changes hands why do people buy anything money changes hands because there is an exchange of value anything you've ever bought anything anyone's ever bought from you the buyer perceives that the value that they will receive in exchange for their money is greater than the value of that money. So that's why people buy. So what you want to get in your head is you want to be thinking always about creating value. People ask, oh, well, how can I make a million dollars? But actually the question you should be asking is like, how can I create more than a million dollars worth of value so that I can ask to be paid that in exchange? This is a slightly different tweak on the thinking. If you think about value, the money will follow. So think about how you're adding value, how you're creating value. So this is a formula that's at the basis of everything I do. I call it the 3M formula. And it's basically you make money by adding more value to more people more often. Have value to offer, show it to more people, share it with more people, you get paid more. Do that more frequently, you get paid more frequently. That's the formula to keep in mind. So where does free content fit into all of that? Free content is about the value that you're offering out to your audience before they become paying clients. That's how you want to think about it. So it's the value that you're offering before they pay you. And so when you know how to do this in the right way, this, there's so many benefits that can come from this. So as I've just explained how I was using free content in my business, that two-step method, I was able to use free content essentially to generate leads. So that's one simple way that you can use free content. But the other thing with free content is it really does position you. It gives you an opportunity to showcase your expertise, perhaps talk about things in a way that people can see that you're different, that your approach is slightly different. And so it really does position your authority and your expertise. The other thing that you can do with free content as it gives you a chance to inject your personality. People buy people. People will buy when they know, like, and trust you. So when people can see a little bit of your personality, your style, they can go, oh yeah, I resonate with that person. I like that. They are more likely to buy. So all of those are ways free content can help you. The other thing that free content does is it sets up an expectation of the value that's on offer inside of your paid programs. When you are offering content that solves problems for people, even if they don't buy from you. So it solves a problem, gives them a new way of thinking about something, answers a question, gives them a tactic, they're starting to associate you with getting value. And it's not too long before they think, well, you know, if I've received all this value and I haven't actually paid her yet, I wonder what would happen inside of her paid offerings. It really enables you to set up the value that's the other side of the free line. Now, here are some stats though. Content marketing brings in three times as many leads as traditional marketing and cost 62% less. So I just want you to think about this for a moment. So think about your business last month. How many leads did you bring into your business and how many of those turned into sales? What would happen if we had three times the number of leads that came into your business last month? You probably would have tripled your sales, right? So just think about that for a moment. That means if your business brought in 3,000 last month, that by tripling the leads that you could make 9,000 a month. Just one thing to focus on that could triple your business. That's how powerful content marketing is. The value of that is 6,000 just over a month. If your figures are lower, maybe you're not even converting yet. That's a slightly other issue, but I'm going to be able to help you with that, with what I share here with your content. Now, this figure, when I saw it, just blew me away. 61% of online purchases are a direct result of a customer reading a blog. If you hear that and you're saying, but Bernadette, I'm blogging all the time and I'm not getting customers. Again, it's because there are things that are missing in how you're using your free content to create sales. But just, I want you to understand just the power of this for a moment. This means like, blogging consistently or, or it doesn't always have to be a blog it could be another type of free content like a video or even a podcast but putting out consistent content basically helps sales like that's 
a fact. The other thing that's been noticed is that the more frequently you put out your content, the better results. So companies that publish 16 plus pieces of content typically get three and a half times more traffic than people that just put out for a month or fewer. Now, in case you go running screaming from the screen and you're like, but Bernadette, I can't possibly put out that content. That's because you don't know how to leverage and repurpose and systematize your content distribution yet. And I'm gonna be explaining how you can do that a little bit later in this video. So I just wanted to show you just why content can be so powerful to help you attract clients when you're using it in the right way. With no further ado, let's talk about some of the mistakes that I see people make. So mistake number one is not putting out content, okay? I've just shown you with those examples and with those statistics, just how powerful content can be. And yet still people are in a situation where they're not putting content. They don't have a proper content marketing strategy in their business, despite the fact they can be a game changer for helping you to attract clients consistently. The first reason is not understanding why, and hopefully I've just corrected that with what I've shared with you. But chances are these two reasons, or both of them may also have stopped you from putting out content consistently. The next thing I hear people say is time. And I don't have time. Just spoke to someone earlier today who said, I've been so busy delivering to my paying clients, my content has just fallen by the wayside. I haven't been putting it out consistently. I get it, right? Time can be a challenge for everybody. I'm a single mum, I'm growing a business, raising my two kids on my own, I've done it. I totally get the time objection, I do. But there's a difference between having time and making time. And here's the thing, I've just shown you that having a proper content marketing strategy in place has the power to triple your business. Just think about that for a second. So given that, is it worth carving out a couple of hours every week to do that? Is it worth exchanging two to three hours of your time to triple your business? Look at your sales results over the last year, would you like to triple them this year? Are you willing to dedicate two or three hours a week. That's basically what it is. If the answer is yes, and I'm sure it would be, that just means you need to be commenting on a post online. You can literally start that small. You don't have to start off with Facebook Lives, but just starting to consistently add content and add value in certain places, that can just be what gets you going, what builds your confidence and helps you to become more and more familiar with serving people through free content. So promise me, that's been one of the things that it stops you. Promise me you won't let it stop you anymore. Because bottom line is there are people out there that need your help and you you are in a position to serve and get paid for serving them. If this is resonating, we're doing a deep dive into content that converts. And one of the things that I'm gonna be covering there is dealing with you know, the confidence issues and where to start if you are terrified about making yourself visible. I've, I've broken it down to make it really easy to a starting point where you can start to grow your confidence and build it from there. The next mistake that people make is what I call spray and pray. <laughs> So this is putting out content, but there's no strategy, there's no consistency, it's random. You just get an idea, drops into your head and you post something and it's just like, it's just all over the place, all right? All over the place means no results. And you know, maybe you've got a notebook full of ideas, but you haven't got around to actually like fleshing them out into specific posts or blog posts or whatever. So it's spray and pray, there's no consistency. If that's happening, what will happen is you'll start to tell yourself, oh, I'm doing content, but it's not working. But it's not that your content isn't working, it's that there's no underlying strategy. You actually haven't thought through, how do I make sure that I'm getting the right content in front of the right person at the right time? How am I doing that with my content? So if you can relate, will you please promise me that you'll make make a commitment to a consistent posting schedule. And I'm gonna say this, one piece of content that you do well weekly, you can build a six figure business with that. Now I know that may sound bold, especially like if you're spending all day on Facebook and you see all people posting, I wanna help you get strategic about this. I promise you just one piece of content when you leverage it in the right way, and I'll be showing you later on how you can do that, that can help you create a six figure business. If you've been doing spray or pray, know that the answer is you need to get consistent. And if you want help with this, as I say, we will be doing it and get clients to make money. Here is the next mistake or problem that I see people have with their content. Putting out content consistently, but it's getting crickets. So you're putting things out, but no engagement, you're not getting people inboxing you and asking to find out more. And because of that, you're feeling unsure. You're starting to question, well, maybe there's something wrong with me. Maybe there's something wrong with my content. Maybe I'm talking to the right audience. And so just a lot of doubt that really gets in the way of you taking kind of bold, purposeful action to connect with your ideal audience. So if you have experienced this, I want to offer you something. If you've been putting out your content on social media or even online, maybe you've been publishing a blog, 
you can have fantastic content, but if nobody's seeing that content, then it's not going to produce inquiries or buyers. I had a client called Lisa and she was putting out content consistently. She was doing a post every single day and she came to me and she was like really stressing out because she just didn't understand what she was going wrong. She's like, I'm putting a lot of work effort into this and I really, you know, thought it would be connecting with my audience. But the thing is, I'm not making sales, Bernadette. So I said, let's just have a look and see what's happening. We looked at the insights. We looked at how many people were actually seeing her posts. And when we looked at how many people were actually seeing her posts, it was a tiny, tiny audience. So she had a Facebook group, but it was like only a tiny percentage of her Facebook group were even seeing her posts. But when we looked at the engagement on her posts, like how people were responding and liking it, she was getting good engagement. And I said, you do not have a quality problem with your content. Like people love your content. You just need more eyeballs on your content. Now think about that for a moment because she didn't know how to diagnose what was going on. She was making assumptions about her content that people didn't like it or it wasn't working but actually her content was great what she just needed to do was make sure that more people were seeing it so we put some things in place so she could get more eyeballs on her content inside of her Facebook group and also starting to publish her content outside of her Facebook group so she could reach a bigger audience